So I still buy Bragg's apple cider vinegar uh, in the gallon plastic jug because it's uh, more cost effective. You know, this is uh, 27 and you're gonna pay around eight dollars for the glass, uh, whatever it is. You probably like three or four of those and makes a gallon. 26 cents per ounce, 21 cents per ounce. Um, you look at some of these other brands, right? Um, you know, they say they're organic and they're, they're organic, and they're organic. But uh, the thing is with a peel is that that's an organic approved pesticide. So when you're consuming something that's organic, doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't have appeal in it. It might. So I've I I use Fairchild's now. Um, you can buy two glass bottles, um, twenty-two dollars for both. Free shipping. Not a bad deal um, if you're really that concerned about Bragg's. The Fairchild's also has a little bit more acidity, so you know. Uh, that might be worth something to you. But I decided to give that brand a shot and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I would not consume um, apple cider vinegar that is in the plastic jugs, even though it's a food safe, food grade container, or whatever. That stuff uh, is pretty corrosive, so I stick with glass. Um, but like I said, this stuff is organic. There's no guarantee it doesn't have a peel in it unless it's coming from uh, a source, a farm where they do all their own stuff and they raise and harvest all their own apples. That's not the case for Fairchild's or Bragg's. They don't have that kind of quality control. Um, you know, I don't know. These are just two brands I see here. I'd assume that they don't do everything. Um, from just their farm either so you know I don't really know if you can escape it and it's not like all the farms are gonna use a peel some probably don't some might uh, it just depends on you know what what are they doing with their apples so anyway just wanted to give you an update because um, this is actually uh, it's probably the most popular video topic is the apple cider vinegar thing you know, maybe you don't like Katy Perry, so you don't want to buy Bragg's. That's fine. Um, but I think if you're getting Bragg's in glass, it's probably not the worst thing you can consume, especially if you're using other ingredients to neutralize anything you may be worried about in there. Um, you know, what can I say? People like Katy Perry, uh, Bill Gates, all these other people, uh, BlackRock, you know, like if you have a retirement account, it's probably being managed by BlackRock. You're giving them money. Um, you know, these people with money, they're so diversified into like everything. Um, so really the best way to, if you don't want to support that, is to just buy local or make your own apple cider vinegar. Um, I know a, uh, a farm and they press their own apple cider. They also do apple cider vinegar. Uh, it's not very acidic and it's very expensive might be cost prohibitive to some people as a solution but if you if you have the money to spend and you don't want to buy you know this stuff then uh, that'd be your your best choice or to make it yourself so um, again I just use this stuff for the baths I don't really think it's a big deal especially considering what else is in the tap water and um, I just consume the stuff in glass doing Fairchild's right now pretty happy with it so let me know if you have any comments